Hi, welcome to the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Patel. Show we talk about things that are happening right here, right now, as well as general news, tips, information, advice. Joining me now is Peter from Fire Legal Protection. How you doing, man? Tough. Been right. a while. Still looking as dapper as always. I try. He always dresses to impress. Now, if you don't know what Peter does, I'll explain that to you in a bit. Uh, but what I want to do is we're going to cover two things here. We're going to cover what your uh, what we did the originally time, which is the protection of people are coming out on holiday. Because I think it's really, really important, guys. If you are coming out on holiday, listen to what Peter's going to tell you. It's in value. I know many, many people have utilized the plan that you've got on offer and have had some great success with it. And when it's been needed, it's been fantastic. And also, we're going to talk, because I'm going to come out over 60 days soon. Isn't that right? No. <laughs> no. It's all going tits up. Well, I've got to. Well, we're, it's all under. But you can explain a bit more about it. And then love, yeah. the last thing we want to say is, now, some of you guys contact me and say, look, Trevor, I want to come here. I want to open up a bar. I want to open up a restaurant. I want to open up a business. You know, how does it work? What are we involved in? And I thought, well, rather than me lose you in my misguided ways, I think it's better that you explain it and what you can do to help people. Okay. So, let's talk about the protection plan. People coming on holiday, coming out here for 30 days, what can you do to help them? Okay. So, we have a, a monthly protection plan. Yeah. 795 Thai baht per month. Uh, and for tourists, they'll mostly take advantage of our 24-hour emergency line. Yeah. Uh, and we have a special medical card that we'll give those guys. So, what they'll do is they'll, they'll share their emergency contact details and their travel insurance with us. Yeah. We'll give them a special card. They'll, they'll stick it in their wallet. And if they're ever in an accident and they're unconscious, the authorities will see that card. They'll call us up and we'll uh, disclose that information to the authorities so they know who they are and who to contact. And, uh, of course, we'll get a consent form signed by the member before we you know, store that information and share it. I think that's really cool because a lot of people, you know, when they come, I mean, I, I look back to when I first came out here on holiday, mm. I didn't give anyone my deals. It was just like, I mean, if I'd been flat packed by a lorry and uh, they, they looked through my stuff, they'd be like, well, who do we call? There's no details in there. I never well, had that. You know, recently there's been a lot of uh, stuff in the news about, yep. about foreigners getting into trouble here. Yeah. And, you know, especially that incident on Soy 6. Yeah. So if, you know, if the guys have, you know, basically I call it a lifeline. You know, they can call it 24 hours a day if they have any problems, you know. So, so that's, you know, really the main, the main point of the personal plan for, for tourists. Yeah, and I think it's a really important point that Peter's made there is the fact that, you know, when you come out on holiday, you might not necessarily know what action to take. So let's just say, let's paint a scenario like we, what we've mentioned about soy seeds. Now, let's just take a different one. But let's say I'm in a bar. I've got a dispute over a bill. I don't know what to do. I don't know what do I have to pay. I, don't, I know for a fact I didn't run these bins up, whatever. You know, all these different scenarios. Maybe you're in a, in a traffic accident and you've been hit or you hit someone else. You don't know where you legally stand. You know, these are scenarios where you can get in contact with Peter via the hotline. Uh, you've got a team of uh, professional lawyers and solicitors that are there waiting for the phone call. And, you know, if nothing else, it just gives you peace of mind. At least then you know legally where you stand and say, look, you know, for the hassle over the bin, just pay it and, and, and be on your way. Don't go back. But regarding the traffic accident, no, this is your situation. This is where you can go. So I think it's really, really important, guys. And like I said, well, it's 795. Yeah. And then for for expats, and it's still the same plan. Yeah. But uh, for expats, they'll utilize things like uh, sending us over a condo lease before they yeah. sign it. So that's a very important thing. We'll go through all the condo laws with the guys. And then uh, we'll take a look at the agreements. Uh, and we have a really good partnership going with Martin at Corners. Yeah, yeah. Because sure. we've already edited those agreements and he's agreed to implement some of those clauses in there that are beneficial e. and, and fair for both the owner of the condo and the uh, tenant, right? Yeah. And, and, and so that's that kind of scenario that we would like to, to make sure that everybody has that opportunity. Not everybody's going to use Martin at Cornerstone. So, so if they contact us, we'll be able to take, to, you know, take a look at their agreement make sure that there's nothing in there that's going to hurt them, uh, especially getting the deposit back. Yeah. You know, stuff, stuff like that. You do use those words out loud. Let's just say, guys, if you if you are looking at a long term in like 12 months or, or longer, you know, you need to utilize this this service purely because, you know, I don't know if you're like me, but I'm a classic, yeah, I'll just sign that, be okay. And then when you when you get in the situation, like, yeah, but I, well, I didn't, did you check it? No, but I thought, I, uh, well, then you, you're out. Whereas like what Peter's service will do is they'll go through the whole of the agreement from top to bottom, and then what they'll do is they'll make sure that everything in there is as it should be. And I'm not saying that landlords are here to rip you off. Or they're not. They're, you know, they're equally one that's protected as much as you are protecting. And so it kind of works out nicely. But yeah, definitely a bad club. Uh, as basic, the guys will you know, overlook it, right? But just as basic as making sure that the landlord on the agreement is the actual owner of the condo or owner right. of the house, uh, making sure that it matches the chinote making sure that the banking information is the banking information of the owner, 
And if it's not, making sure there's a power of attorney there um, that shows that the agent has the authority to, uh, to sign that agreement on behalf of the owner and collect the rent money. And uh, we, you know, we also put some, uh, some clauses in Martin's contracts at Cornerstone that, that make it very easy because sometimes he does that, right? Mm. So we just make it very easy. We just stick a clause in the contract. And, and then if it's applicable to that deal, then it, yeah. you know, it stays in the contract. So that's very important, yeah. especially, yeah. So to summarize, guys, if you are coming here on holiday, uh, I will put the link in the description of this video. So have a look down there. You'll see the link to the, to the package that we're talking about. Um, you know, if you come in on holiday, 795 bar, guys. I mean, let's, let's put that to reality. It's less than a, than a couple of hours in the gents club. It, you know, it's 795 bar. And the, the, the moral of this one is the fact that if you ever have a situation that you think, I don't really know where I stand legally, I don't know what to do, you know, you might have to go down to Soy 9, to the police station. You've got a number where you can call and say, right, this is my situation. Um, quite often, I think they'll hand over the phone, you can, they'll do their talking, and then suddenly you think, okay, yeah, you're okay, you can go away, blah, blah, blah. So for, for that, that kind of figure, I think it's invaluable. You've got to have it. Likewise, if you're coming out here long term, and I know a lot of you guys, you, know, you often contact me, Trev, where's a good area to stay? I want to come out for a year. Again, you know, 795 bar is pennies. It's pennies to give you the comfort, comfort of knowing that you're signing an actual agreement that is legally standing and will protect you as well as the owner. So guys, check it out. There's a link down there. Now, talking about coming over, I'm going to do 60 days. Apparently not. No, no, I've heard it. I've got to do 60 days. So what's going on? Because <clears throat> as everyone knows, we were told, yep, Thailand are going to embrace this 60-day visa for everybody. But it, it's changed. It? Well, not changed, but it's not quite worked out. Yeah, so, you know, I can't really comment on why it happened. I can only say that that on, on Saturday morning, we started with the guys, you know, coming over and, you know, they were expecting to get 60 days when they entered, and they only got 30. So, they, you know, passport photos were being sent on all over on the forums and everything. So we actually uh, took some initiative, and we we have some contacts in immigration and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs right. and ca the Ministry of Counselor Affairs. And so what we just basically found out is that is that on May 29th, they issued a, it's an infograph, and maybe some of the guys saw that I posted it in the forum in Discord, stating very clearly that the measures will not come into effect until the legal procedures are finalized, which basically means that it needs to be published in the government gazette before it becomes law. Right. And so, you know, obviously some people jump the gun. We don't want to say who, but uh, that's the, the end all and be all of it. So we have um, hopefully sometime in the next couple of weeks, uh, but maybe not until the end of the month or the beginning of next month is when is when those that that 60 day visa exempt entry will start uh the new dta visa which is you know a really trending topic right now with the guys because it gives them an opportunity to come over here and work really as a digital nomad because it includes a freelancer category and you know uh unlike the ltr visa that person has to have an employer back in their home country sponsoring them to work over here so when you're saying DTA and LTR, what do they actually abbreviate? What do those abbreviations mean? Uh, those people what? destination travel something. I forget okay. that last part, but it's just basically, you know, it gives it's that that missing kind of piece of the puzzle that Thailand has when it comes to visas, right? Yeah, yeah, and but you know, there's still a lot of speculation on what it's going to cover. So it's basically going to give you 180 days stay. And, and an extension to that 180 days. Wow. But what we're unclear of is whether that's going to be every year for five years as a multiple entry or only one or two times with okay. the extension. So that is all going to be brought to light in the coming weeks as well, too. Uh, and I guess everybody knows Mark and One Stop yep. Visa. Yeah, well, so, we had a, yeah, so we had some discussion about this. And when we get those all these final details... Mark's going to come on the channel, yes, go through yes, everything, yes. Yeah. review the DTA visa, confirm whether the 60-day uh, the visa exempt entry can be extended because he's the one that's going to immigration and patty every, every single day. So he's going to get that information very, yeah. very, very fast. To learn. Yeah, and I, and I think that's a really valid point, guys. You know, if you are uncertain, you know, obviously we mentioned about the plan there with Peter, so you can contact their legal department and just say, look, if I'm not, not clear what happens here, but like we said, Mark down at One Stop Visa, so he's at the bottom of the Soy 6, right down by the beach roadside. Hop in there. His team are fantastic, and he is a very knowledgeable guy. He'll help you out, and he'll definitely point you in the right direction. So 60 days right now, at the time of making this video, is not available. However, like Peter said, 
Watch this space. It is imminent. It will come eventually, but we just don't know exactly the right date. Sure. Yeah. So, sadly, as you know, uh, we've gone through high season right now. We're now edging into what people are describing as the lowest of low season. I actually don't think it's all that bad, but it's not as good as we're hoping, which means that, unfortunately, there may well be in the future some uh, units here that are up for, for rent or for sale, and it may be that time of the year when you think, do you know what, I fancy a business opportunity over here in Patea. Um, I've always wanted to come out here and work, so let me have a think about what I'm going to do and how it all works. When you get to business out here, it is a minefield of paperwork, requirements, legislation, all these kind of things that you need to understand. But you've got another little trick up your sleeve where you can help people out with that. I do, yes. So Thai Protection has two plans. One is a personal plan at seven ninety five Thai baht per month, and one is a business plan for four thousand nine ninety five Thai baht per month. Yeah. And and what we allow guys uh, who haven't opened up a business to do is before they just go and purchase our business plan, before they've even thought to about pulling the trigger, they want to learn about everything. Yeah. yeah. They they have an opportunity that they would like us to analyze for them to see if it's a good opportunity. So there'll be a sales agreement maybe for a bar that they want to purchase. We'll review that under the personal plan. We'll go through all of the basic responsibilities and legal obligations that you have when you run a business. We'll go through the different options of how you can register that business, mm -hmm. whether it be through a Thai partner, yep. whether it be through a company that you would like to open up, or whether you have some other option that you, or we have some other option that we can give you based on what you've told us to actually run that business, uh, then we'll go through all the ins and outs with you. Make sure that you understand the legalities and your responsibilities that you're going to have. Yeah. Many guys just jump head first in yeah. without really knowing what's going on. And, you know, so it, some of them wished that they had, a, you know, had an opportunity that, where, you know, instead of just getting one free consultation at a law firm, they can have as many as they want. Yeah. They can ask us as many questions. They can let us take a look at the agreement yeah. before they sign it and pull the trigger. Uh, we can talk about, you know, obviously the biggest thing on a guy's mind when he's opening up a business is, can I get a work permit? Can I get a visa? Yeah. So we'll go through what's required to make that happen at the same time as others. Yeah, I'm a, I must admit, I mean, when I first came out here as a brand spanking newbie, and I'm thinking, oh, you know, I could just have a business here. It'd be quite, quite easy. Because uh, you think naturally, just like in the UK, you know, if you just have a business, yeah. no dramas. You just do it, register it the way you go and, and carry on trading. And then... Yeah. But out here is vastly, hugely different. It really is. It's just yeah. not as straightforward as that. And like like Peter's saying there, you know, you do need that peace of mind. Because if you get it wrong, eventually, you know, during the 12 months of you being in operation, you are going to get rid of, uh, uh, various visits, let's just say. Mm -hmm. And you need all your stuff in, in place. You need all your licenses in place. You must make sure you've got your work permit, all those other things. Because if you don't, you're going to end up in a bit of hot water. So, you know, the, the plan that you offer, I think, is invaluable, particularly yeah. for people coming out in business. Sure, because... You know, maybe you can answer this better than me, but I see a lot of businesses that start up and it's, they're already for sale after a couple of weeks. Yeah. Sometimes they don't even open up and they're for yeah. sales. Yeah. So it's really important that the guys understand what their obligations are when they open up a business and, yeah. and uh, all the things that they have to do. Like as simple as understanding that if you have a company, you have to have an accountant yeah. and they have to you know, follow your, your, you know, yeah. your, your balance sheet and audit report at the end of the year has to all be done properly submitted to the authorities and then your corporate income tax yeah. on top of that. And some of the guys just don't think of all these things. Yeah. They just see the glamour of guys, like especially like you, Trevor, oh, you've got a nice bar here, got a nice business going for yourself, Stephen as well. But nobody gets to see behind the scenes and all the oh, things yeah. that you guys have to do to maintain these businesses. Well, I've literally just had my, my end of year uh, submission, um, who, um, who takes care of all my accounts. She yeah. said, right, Trevor. We got to put it all in. I was like, "Oh no, how much is this going to cost?" Here we go. Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah. So. And they're, they're just things that you don't really expect or, or appreciate or even anticipate until suddenly. And the trouble is, once you open the business, like when when I got hit with my first spreadsheet balance uh, uh, fee, I was yeah. just like, "What's that for?" Oh, you you got to put your accounts in. I'm like, "Well, yeah, but I used to be able to submit my own accounts you know, back in the UK or just get my account and yeah. do it." But but yeah, I mean, these are these are issues in the bar, and, and it's so true what you said. Sadly, very sadly, there's bars very close to where I am here, and I'm not going to name them, but you know, they came in, they opened up, they stayed in for about just over six weeks, and then they're shut again. And it's just like, you know, these are people's dreams, you know, these sure, are people's yeah. ambitions, their money, their investment. You know, nobody, myself, I don't want to see anybody lose their money, but I think 
you know, if you do speak to a third party, you know, if you speak to the owner of the present business, well, of course, you're going to say, yeah, it's great. You can do this. You can do that. It's easy. No worry. If you speak to someone that's independent, you get a much more balanced view. Sure, sure, yeah. Much more yeah, so, so we give the guys the opportunity to do that at a very reasonable cost to them so they can do it under our 795 bat yeah. a month personal plan. Yeah. Once they decide to open up the business and they're happy with everything yeah. that we've done so far, yeah. then they would subscribe to our, our business plan. And basically what that allows you to do is business has to sign service agreements We'll review all those before the business signs them. The business may have licensing issues that we need to get involved with. Maybe they weren't able to get their license or it's taking too long. Okay. Uh, do you need this license? Do you need that license? Stuff like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then also just when uh, you have a business, sometimes you know, nobody talks about this kind of thing, right, Trev? Yeah. But sometimes you have what we call a labor dispute. Yeah, okay? yeah. Okay? And people think that, oh, just, you know, someone's not working out, I'm just going to can them. Yeah. It's not as easy as that. Uh, it's not as easy as that. So you got to make sure that when you have a business, you know, are you going to employ people as an employee? Are you going to employ them as an independent contractor yep. or a consultant? You know, and then we have the girls, how they work. Mm. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get yourself in trouble with the labor yeah. department. Yeah. So anytime you have a labor dispute, we'll, we'll get involved and advise you accordingly. And we'll look at your employment contracts if you've got those. We'll look at your independent consultant contra contracts if you've got those or a service agreement that maybe your supplier that doesn't provide. So you have one mm. and, you yeah. and you need to get that signed. All these things are important. And so also, that's what the well, business plan covers. You know, as well, don't forget, guys, if you're an existing business owner, you're watching this, you know, it's still not too late. You can speak to, to Peter here and you can look at your options. You know, it, it might be the best 400, uh, 4,995 part you spent because you might think, wow, I didn't even know that was, that was there. So, so yeah, I want it. And I think Michael goes around and talks to the guys at Bonin around yeah. town. Yeah. So you can speak to Michael as yeah. well. Yeah. Trevor, yeah. Yeah. So, well, it's been a great uh, update. So just to summarize there, guys, remember, so if you're coming out on holiday, you know, 795 bar, it's less than a couple of beers in a, in a gents club and you've got to protect, you know, you don't know what's going to happen, guys. You never know what's going to happen once around the corner. You might be, you might have hired a motorbike and you ride around the corner, someone hits you and you, and then the police is going, you got to pay, you got to pay. And you don't know, you don't know. You're thinking, well, I don't know what to do now. I've got to pay. Whereas you might just say, well, hang on one second. Yeah, this is my situation. What do I do? Okay, one second. There, are, Mr. Policeman. Listen to that. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm on my way now. You know, I'm not, yeah. you know, these scenarios can happen. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's well worth taking out. Like I said, the link's in the description down below. 60 days. Watch this video. It will, we will update you as soon as we know. Right now, it is not available. Right now, it's not a given. The changes that they're offering, the changes they've said they're going to do will happen, we think. But right, they're not right now. So, again... Be prepared for that. And likewise, business. If you're thinking of opening up a business or you are already in business, mm -hmm. again, you know, speak to Peter and his team. Get, get that arm around the shoulder, a little bit of a comfort advice. And that way, then, you never know. It might save you a lot of headache further down the road. Been a pleasure, my man. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you so much. He's the only guy I know who wears a suit every day. <laughs> he wears a suit everywhere. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And anyway, so now what I'll do is I'll put the link to Peter's uh, everything in the description below. So have a look down there, guys. Get yourself in touch. All right, that's it for me. That's it for Peter. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when we bring out new. Uh, Peter mentioned it earlier. He's got a platform in our Discord channel. So if you want to connect with Peter straight away, you can do. Just jump in the Discord, ask for a few questions you need to ask, and then he can guide you as to where you need to go with that. So have a look in Discord. Jump in our Instagram. Instagram is all about nightlife and our, and our uh, uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's the one we're for? What's the other one? TikTok. That's it. Talk, yeah. I forgot about me. TikTok. So uh, Instagram is about nightlife. TikTok's about daytime, about beaches, hotels, reviews, all that kind of stuff. So have a look on there. And if you'd like to support the channel, please become a member here on YouTube. Join us on our YouTube channel right now. Uh, we're still experiencing some difficulties with our website membership. So just use YouTube for now. That'll work. And then we'll convert it over later on for you once we get our website up and running. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. <laughs>